it's troubling and it's an under it undermines New Jerseyans rights. Sarah Fajardo, policy director for the American Civil Liberties Union of New Jersey, reacting to a new law allowing police officers to review body camera footage in certain instances before completing their initial reports. It really provides the potential to pollute and um, uh, make less precise the reports that we get from our law enforcement officers, which are a really critical tool to understand what happens at the scene. Um, we really want to understand what the officer's memory looks like as an independent piece of evidence um, from body-worn cameras, because we do know that every human brings their own personal perspective, right, their own subjective understanding of an in incident. And so if an officer is committing misconduct in a situation, we also need that evidence to make, you know, a best kind of interpretation of what happened in what can be extremely intense and busy and um, stressful situations. Governor Murphy signed the controversial measure into law last week after issuing a conditional veto in November. The governor suggested lawmakers amend the bill to include certain provisions. Under the law now, police are prohibited from reviewing the body camera footage first if an officer uses force, discharges a firearm, or uses deadly force, and if a person dies while in custody. I think that that's actually a step in the right direction. Sayreville Police Chief John Zabrowski says he understands why some people are concerned, but wants New Jerseyans to know any footage viewed would be used as a supplement to the police report, not a replacement. So let's begin with an officer at the scene would record contemporaneous notes, which they normally always will do. And then when they go back to complete their report, they're gonna to refer to their contemporaneous notes. And if it's, they feel it's necessary to review body-worn camera footage, they'll also note that in the report that they're using their review as part of the completion of the report. So I believe that that should take some of those concerns away from those that feel that there would be um, inaccuracies as a result of watching the body-worn uh, camera uh, footage. Then what was wrong with the original law? The original law that was passed in November of 2020 asked an officer to write their notes, then enabled them to look at their body camera footage, and then to make any changes based on what they saw in the film. And that way we preserve everything, right? We preserve both the officer's memory at the time. We know what they remembered and what they perceived, and we ensure that reports are accurate by giving the officer a chance to watch the film. Supporters of the new law have argued letting officers see the body camera footage helps accurately detail what happened, but others believe it will make it difficult to hold law enforcement accountable and determine the motivation and intention behind their actions. What we see from the science, especially since about 2015, is that when officers view the footage prior to actually writing down the incidents, like what actually happened during the course of the incident, their actual factual events change and it changes their memory of the events. And so if the goal is to get the most factual understanding of what happened during the event, having them view the body camera is good. If we want to see how officer behavior may not always align to what is actually going on, it doesn't give us a true representation of that. Community advocates are hoping lawmakers will take another look at the issue and revert the body camera legislation back to what they passed in 2020. Attorneys I spoke with say if the truth behind a case is ever threatened by an officer reviewing footage, they'll take the necessary steps to challenge it. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.